a very good morning to all of you friends today we are going to study about biology of class 8 that is chapter 8 cell structure and function now you have read about cell in physics isn't it a device that helps in storing chemical energy but that cell is different from this cell this cell is the smallest unit of our body it is the smallest basic unit of our body let us see how like we are living organisms living organisms can be plants animals and microorganisms you know living organisms are made up of some systems like you have read in class 7 about the digestive system in our body so some systems are there like digestive system or nervous system muscular system circulatory system these systems are again made up of some organs okay like the digestive system consists of mouth the food pipe the stomach the small intestine and the large intestine so similarly organs are made up of tissues tissues in the sense it can be plant tissue or it can be animal tissues also and these tissues are of different types like epithelial tissue muscular tissue connective tissue like our hand is made up of this hand is made up of muscular tissues nervous tissues and other different types of tissues these tissues are again made up of the smallest basic unit of our body which are known as cells so cells are the basic units of living organisms okay so all the plants animals and microorganisms are made up of very small microscopic units which are called cells cells assemble to form body of living organisms okay whether it is a bulb of onion or a potato or an orange or apple or plants or animals all the living organisms are made up of units called cells so once again cells are the basic units of living organisms but you know friends these cells are very very small in size they are microscopic we cannot see them by the help of our naked eyes so we need some devices to see them so there are some devices which are called microscopes okay now these microscopes can be a simple microscope they can be a compound microscope simple and compound microscopes are present in our school in the biology laboratory there are also electron microscopes which are found in research centers by the help of electron microscope we can see the magnified image of objects as tiny as a bacteria so microscopes can be simple compound or electron microscope microscope is a device to study the cells of plants and animals to observe them and to study them microscopes consist of some lens and some mirrors like i'm wearing a pair of lens so by the help of lens things can be magnified so in this way this lens they help in magnifying the size of the object similarly there are some mirrors by the help of these mirrors light is focused on the object by the help of which we can see a magnified image of the object so microscopes are used to study the cells of plants and animals now let us see the discovery of cells cells are the basic smallest unit in our body but who was the first person who gave this concept of cells that our bodies are made up of small units called cells very important cells have been discovered by a scientist or an english scientist called robert hook in the year 1665 so you can imagine this is 2020 so 1665 long ago okay how did he discover cell he observed a thin slice of cork you have seen cork or bark of tree like in the badminton feather cork is present or in the homeopathy medicine bottles the bottle stopper that is made up of cork so he discovered a thin slice of cork that is bark of tree under his simple
magnifying device. It was not a microscope. It was a simple primitive type of microscope made of some lens and mirror. So by the help of a simple microscope, he saw some box-like compartments which appeared like honeycomb structures. So when Robert Hooke in 1665, under his primitive microscope, he observed a thin slice of cork, he saw some box-like structures, okay? And he named them as cells because the term cell has come from the Latin word cellula that means little rooms. So he could not see anything, only empty spaces. So he named them as cells. So this is the discovery of cells. Often question comes who discovered cell and how. So you are going to write the whole paragraph. Okay. Now let us see some examples of cells in our body. Okay. Some of you must be knowing that cells are usually microscopic. But a few cells can be observed by our naked eyes also. We can see by the help of our eyes. So, egg is an example of a cell that can be seen by our eyes. We don't need a microscope to see egg. Okay. So, here it is the biggest cell. That is ostrich's egg. Other Some examples of other cells in our bodies, let us see. Like we have the RBC, that means the red blood cells. Okay. We have the white blood cells in our body. These are all single cells. We have muscle cells in our body which are spindle shaped. Like the egg shell is oval in shape. The RBCs they are spherical in shape. The white blood cells they have more or less irregular structure. The muscle cells which are spindle shaped. And the nerve cells which are long and branched. So cells can be of different shapes according to the function that they perform. Okay, so the structure of cell can differ according to its function. So, please remember the biggest cell is that of ostrich egg and the smallest cell is mycoplasma bacteria. Okay, mycoplasma bacteria. Please learn the spellings carefully. So, mycoplasma. You can also write bacteria. So, mycoplasma is also called PPLO. That means pleuropneumonia like organism. Okay, so the biggest cell example, the smallest cells example. Okay, now these are examples of some cells in our body. But do you know there are some organisms whose body is made up of one single cell. So that cell is capable of performing all the functions of its body. Okay. So, such single-celled organisms, they are called unicellular organisms. So, because these are made up of single cell, so such kind of organisms are called single-celled organisms or unicellular organisms. Okay. Let us see an example of a bacterial cell. In case of bacterial cell like lactobacillus that we called. Okay. So, it consists of millions of bacteria, lactobacillus. So, this is just an example of a bacterial cell. Okay, this is the cell membrane and flagella, tougher flagella. This is the genetic material. Got it? In this case, this is amoeba. Amoeba is a unicellular animal cell. In amoeba, you can see this is the nucleus and this is the cell membrane. Okay, these are the pseudopodia, that means the false feet. <coughs> the pseudopodia, they help in capturing food. Whenever any food particle comes in presence of this in front of the amoeba, then it is, it helps in engulfing the food and capture it. Then take it inside the body by the help of some enzymes, digest it and then they absorb it. So pseudopodia are the false feet present in amoeba. Another example of unicellular organism is paramecium. In case of paramecium, you see a slipper shaped organism. Okay. More or less it functions same as amoeba, but it does not have any pseudopodia. It has some rod like very simple structures which are called cilia. So the body is covered with cilia. Okay, C-I-L-I-A, cilia. So bacteria, amoeba, paramecium are examples of single celled organisms. That means unicellular organisms. Now let us see the definition of unicellular organisms. <coughs> 
unicellular organisms the single celled organisms are called unicellular organisms a single celled organism performs all the necessary functions of life that is nutrition respiration excretion etc that means the body of bacteria amoeba paramecium is made up of only one cell and that single cell is capable of performing all the life functions that means nutrition absorption okay secretion of sub certain enzymes and then removal of substances respiration etc so such kind of organisms are called unicellular organisms now in contrast to unicellular organisms there are organisms which are called multicellular organisms like we are multicellular organisms because our body is made up of collection of cells you know in our body there are about trillions of cells okay like an onion has a collection of cells like an apple or an orange so similarly the organisms made of more than one cell are called multicellular organisms in such organisms different groups of cells perform a variety of functions just now we have seen in structure of cells like the rbc they perform the function of carrying oxygen then the nerve cell they help in conduction of impulses so similarly in our body different groups of cells perform a variety of functions okay so today's topic we end here some assignments which are related to today's topic are you will write these questions in your class o copy and then submit them on time when the school reopens let us see the questions first one define cell okay first question define cell next question question number 2 name the biggest cell and the smallest cell question number 3 who discovered cell and how question number 3 who discovered cell and how question number 4 define the following give two examples of each the followings are number a unicellular organisms number b multicellular organisms okay so please complete these question answers and write them in your classwork copies thank you so much for watching this video thank you